Hello, welcome to SmartBird 101. I'm your host, Robert Rocha. I'm an instructional technology specialist with the El Paso Independent School District. Recently, we've been talking about how to add interactivity into our smart notebook lessons. But today, we're going to focus on the basic layout of smart notebook. And I know we've done several videos on this so far, but a lot of times in our trainings that we offer teachers, they ask us questions like, can I import PowerPoints into a smart notebook file? Where to look for help if I need help for tutorials on my smart notebook files? Or can I print them up? Can I print up my smart notebook files? And the answer to that question is yes. We can import, we can print, we can look for tutorials within smart notebook. The problem is, where do I go and find all that information? And the answer is going to be in the menu bar. So today we're going to focus on the menu bar in smart notebook. So let's go and take a look and see how that works up here. So I'm going to go back to my smart board. And I already have a smart notebook file already opened up. So I'm going to go and click on my file here. And it opens it up. And notice now, on the very top, I have a menu bar that goes across that's above the toolbar that I have here. Now, as you look at the menu bar, it's kind of just like in Windows. It has all the different uh, menu features, such as File, Edit, View, Insert, Format, Draw, and Help. And so the first area of focus I'm going to go and show you is going to be the File menu. So I'm going to go and click on the File menu here. And when I open that up, I get a drop-down menu. And you can see the very first options that I have is for kind of creating or saving content. And so the very first one says the word new, and so that allows me to do a new file. If I want to open up a new smart notebook file. This next one is open. It allows me to open up a, a smart notebook file that I previously have been using. Now also this is the save button. If I want to just save the notebook file that I'm already working on, I can save it. And also, I have Save As. So if I'm creating a new smart notebook and I want to give it a new name, I would use Save As. Now, here's something kind of very interesting. We have Share on Smart Exchange. Let's say you really worked hard on the lesson and you really want to share it with people in the world on like a social networking area. Smart Exchange allows you to upload your file to it if you have a username and password. And you can share it with other teachers across the world. And so a lot of times I've noticed on their Smart Exchange, a lot of times when you upload a file, they have different contests. And sometimes you can win prizes by going ahead and, and ex, uh, sharing your Smart Notebook file that you have. Okay. Now also what's really neat is save page as a gallery item. So if I'm working on a, just a single page that I really, really like, I can go ahead and just save that page into my gallery content, which I've explained in an earlier previous show. Okay, so my, my next areas that I have here, my next group of items are the import and export features. Now, a lot of times, as I mentioned earlier, a lot of teachers want to know, can I import a PowerPoint? And the answer to that question is yes. The only problem that you may have when you're doing a, an, ex, uh, an importing of a PowerPoint, if you have any kind of animations, all those animations will be lost. So what we need to go ahead and do, let me go ahead and show you how that works. So, I'm going to go ahead and import a PowerPoint that I found on the web. So I'm going to go to Import. When I do get a menu screen here, and it's going to open up to my last area that I was at, and I opened up to my desktop. And I'm going to go ahead and convert meaning, Meaningful Portfolios Part 1. And I'm going to click on Open. And I'll go through the menu screens here in just a second. Let me try that one more time. I'll click on Open. It's, there it goes. It's going to do something right now. Having a little bit of trouble today in our studio, so uh, keep bearing with me. And, and this may happen in your classroom. When that does, don't panic. Everything's going to work. Oh. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Let me cancel that. Start, all that. start that over again, Ray. OK. Okay, I, I happen to know that my PowerPoint that I'm going to open up is going to be on my desktop screen. So I'm going to click on Desktop, and I'm going to go to All, PowerPoint Files, and it should show up here in just a second. Oh, I'm not All Promethean. Let me go to All PowerPoint. And our, our TV studio today is giving us all kinds of difficulties today, but that's okay. A lot of times things don't work the way they want to in the classroom, and we just got to be patient and, and it'll let, allow it to work itself out. So here I go. I have my PowerPoint. I'm going to go and choose my meaningful portfolios. I'm going to click on Open. 
and I click on open. For some reason, my, my smart board lost a little bit of its orientation. So I'm going to go back to my screen here and click on open. And notice now it's converting the PowerPoint. Now, I've already done this for sake of time. I've got a little error here, and that's OK. Hit don't send. If that ever happens to you when you're doing this, just go ahead and restart your computer or restart smart notebook file, and it'll, go and it'll convert it for you again. So just start that process all over. So I'm going to close this one up. And I'm going to go back to my other smart book file that I have. And there is my PowerPoint that I had, but now you notice it's in Smart Notebook. And so now I have my creating high quality, meaning, meaningful student portfolios that was a PowerPoint that is now a Smart Notebook file, which is really, really cool. So if I click on my Get My Page Sorter here, I can see all the different slides I have that I use within my Smart Notebook file that I have here. I'm going to close that, and you can see all my different slides that I was using. Okay, and so now I can go ahead and present it in full screen mode. I can go ahead and write it up or do anything I wanted to do, just like in Smart Notebook, because now it is a Smart Notebook file. Now the really cool thing is, well, can I export it? Well, yeah, there are different options you can do. When I go to File, I can go to Export, and I can export these as a web page. I can explore this as images. I think they believe that JPEGs is the image format that it converts it to. I can save all this as a PDF file if I want to email it to someone on my slides, the PDF. I can also go back up here. I can also do a, what's called a CFF file, which is a common file format. So anyone else who has some type of uh, interactive board, you can share that with them if they don't have the smart notebook files. You can convert it to a CFF. And they should be able to open it up with any other software that's for uh, interactive whiteboards. And so again, I can go back to PowerPoint again if I wanted to and go back to PowerPoint. Now, if you go back to PowerPoint and you added animation to your slide, that animation is no longer going to be there. And so just keep that in mind. It's going to be pictures of the slides pretty much it's going to go ahead and do. Which kind of brings me back to something here that I forgot to mention. When I go to import, when I import a file, I'm going to say here, click on No. And so when I go back up to my open menu screen that I had, notice on the file type it said all PowerPoint files. The PPT, which is the older version of PowerPoint, and the PPTX. But if I go to that drop down menu, I have all Promethean files, which is a competitor for Smart Notebook. So if someone else has a Promethean file that they've given you, you can convert that Promethean file into a Smart Notebook file, which is a really cool. And again, all that all common file format, the IWB, if you have an IWB file, you can convert that, convert that into Smart Notebook files. So that's a really neat feature that we have here. I'm going to go and cancel that. Okay. So let's go back to menu bar and see some other cool things that we can do with Smart Notebook. Now also here I have time saves. If I click on time saves, I can say do not save the document automatically. So it means I have to manually save the document. And I recommend that setting because a lot of times if you're presenting information to one class and you mark it up, you, don't want to, you may not want to save those changes. So I would go and keep that as do not save the doc document automatically. But of course, if you wanted to, you can save it every time I move a different page after a minute, five minutes, uh, 15 minutes, or 30 minutes, which is really cool. I'm going to click on cancel for that for now. And the last feature I kind of want to show you here is the print feature. A lot of people ask, can I print up a smart notebook? And of course, the answer is yes. When I click on print, I have different options of how I want to print this up. I can print it as thumbnails if I want to print up as little thumbnails. I can do it as a handout. And that's kind of what I probably would recommend to someone is doing a handout. And the reason is, on the handout, it gives you little items to write notes on. So if you're being evaluated by your administrator, you could go print up your Smart Notebook file and go ahead and give them a copy of your file, and they can write notes on your particular presentation that you were doing. Or let's say you had a student who was absent. You can go print up your Smart Notebook file and give them the information to your student if you wanted to go and do that. So and again, you can also do a full page if you wanted to go and do a full page. Different options that are here. And of course, you can modify that any way that you'd like. So we're going to cancel that for now. If I go back to my file menu screen, I also can send to, if I want it, if my mail system was set up, I could automatically mail it to someone. And so you can kind of do these really neat features of that, of mail it to someone. And of course, below here, I can go ahead and add more content. I can open up my, any previous documents that I had. And of course, there's my exit screen. Now, 
tune in for our next show, and we're going to continue on looking at the view, the insert, the format, and of course the draw and the help features in our smart notebook file. So we hope you enjoyed your show today, and hope you found it useful in your classroom. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>